The LK1 is a larger format budget 3D printer kit made by the Longa 3D Technology Company. The kit includes the factory pre-installed base, pre-installed top section, a box with additional parts and the main controller with the power supply enclosed. In the additional box we have a small 200 gram roll of white PLA filament, USB card reader, an 8 gig micro SD card and the parts for a spool holder which need assembly. Also included we have some basic tools, the side brackets, a USB and power cable. There is an easy to follow quick start user manual included in the box for the assembly and operation of the printer. A detailed user manual with software setup instructions along with a few included pre-sliced 3D models are found on the SD card. The 3D printer can be unboxed and assembled within 30 minutes. The first steps of assembly include bolting the base together with the frame uprights and installing the side brackets. Then connecting the wiring to the control box with the two aviation plugs. Next is to connect the labelled wires for the stepper motors and the end stops. The filament spool holder is a separate component and made entirely of plastic. This is assembled and held together with two bolts. Manual levelling of the bed is completed by using the four adjustment knobs on the underside of each corner. In the menu we can select different levelling positions on the touch screen to assist with the process. The printer has a solid and sturdy frame using aluminium extrusion for the uprights and base with all metal construction for the other parts and components that are coated in blue. The large print volume is capable of 300 by 300 by 400 mm high prints. The separate control box which has the 2.8 inch colour touch screen is placed in a convenient location at the top. The micro SD card and USB ports are located at the side. At the back of the control box we have the wiring, the power socket and power switch. Having a separate control box makes it easier if you want to enclose the printer but otherwise we have all the wiring from the box to the printer across our workspace. Inside the control box there is good quality wiring with crimped connectors. The longer branded board has integrated circuits for the stepper drivers and MOSFET on board. A 360 watt power supply with side exiting fan duct is used for the printer. This supplies the 24 volts for the electronics and the heated bed. Filament is fed through a run out sensor in front of the Bowden style extruder to the hot end through a PTFE tube. At the hot end we have a Mark 8 style extruder with a standard sized 0.4mm nozzle. There is a single part cooling fan which directs the air onto the print via a 3D printed cooling duct. On the bed there is a removable glass plate with a high temperature plastic film attached to one side. The print surface holds the prints well and the completed prints are easily released once cooled. Another feature is the print recovery function. This allows prints to resume if there is a power outage during a print. The print recovery and the filament runout sensor are both good features to have on a larger machine when printing for extended periods. One area for improvement is the wiring for the hotbed. Wires are connected by a socket which has no strain relief. Over time the continued movements on the axis will increase the fatigue and stress on the connection and may create a point of failure. It would be recommended to make and add a simple supporting bracket for the wires. The spool holder is on the cheaper side but is suitable for the work. A metal spool holder with the option to mount onto the control box similar to the CR10 would be a great addition. The separate spool holder adds another item to the overall size of the printer and increases the space needed. Starting a print is made via the touch screen located on top of the control box. Menus are easy to navigate although at times not super responsive. The first test prints are the pre-sliced files that are included on the SD card using the supplied white PLA filament. All the small test prints turned out well with a small bit of stringing noticeable on one print. Medium sized prints like the honeycomb vase turned out great and the machine performed well during the print. The vase is printed in spiral mode with a 0.2mm layer height using a multicoloured PLA filament. Next was to test the printer with a more complex and challenging larger print. The print of the Eiffel Tower took over 40 hours of continuous print time to complete. Printed at a 0.2mm layer height using a grey PLA filament. Again the printer performed well without any issues during the longer non-stop print. 
The 3D printer can produce some good quality prints, whether it's printing smaller or larger items without any trouble. The longer LK1 is based on the popular CR10 and a decent printer for those requiring a larger print volume. It represents good value to similar size pre-assembled packages.